I just got back from another day of crab fishing. I went for Dungeness crab again. I used squid as bait and this is what I got. I'll just dump them out here. Seven total crabs. Hey, that's pretty good. Ooh, so alive. Okay, here they are. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, and then three rock crabs on the bottom. The reason why I caught so many crabs was because of this crab snare that I made. There were three other fishermen, uh, one fisherman had one pole and the two other fishermen had two poles and still they weren't catching nearly as much as me. They were maybe catching one every 20 or 30 minutes and I was catching one or two every 10 minutes, sometimes three, pulling up three at a time and it's because of this crab snare that I made. It's special because the mesh is half inch by half inch so the bait can't get through it. But the most important thing is that the loops here are raised in the air. They're not just lying flat on the sand. So it's so much more likely that a crab will get tangled in this snare here. So in a video very soon, I'm going to go into detail how to make this, what dimensions to cut the hardware cloth, um, how to leave a little bit of extra wire so you can make this fold here for the bait um, and also how to attach these loops so they're properly positioned to catch the most amount of crab. 